Friday when I'm filming this, but it's my weekend. I'm Friday and Saturday tomorrow off. So today, running a couple of errands, I got the oil changed and this vehicle serviced, so it's good to go. Now I've got to run into our uh, financial institution. There is a check there waiting for us from the proceeds of the sale of our last house. I love going to pick up money. I wish this happened more often that I could go to the bank and get money instead of going to the bank with money. Like, wouldn't that work well? A lot better. Like, instead of saying, here's my money, how about, hey, do you have money for me? We're gonna go pick up that check, put it in the correct account. And uh, it's already all spoken for, <laughs> so it's not like it's actually mine anyway, but it's nice to at least get a few uh, things taken care of now. Start taking care of some debts. So hello everybody again, skip forward a little bit, we're back in the truck. So a bunch of errands running around this week and we had some family over and uh, like like you said, I had to run that errand, I had to go pick up that check that we we finally got our proceeds from the sale of our house and they're all gone. <laughs> Wasn't ours, but at least some debts are paid off and uh, we're well on our way now to getting out of all debt again, aside from our, our new mortgage that'll take a little bit longer, but I give it a, uh, six to 12 months and we'll have everything else cleared up and uh, we'll be all caught up because remember we got into this house a year earlier than we had planned and uh, we said we had some help to do that uh, from our family which was very we're very thankful for that and we're uh, taking care of things that we owe in the next couple of months but anyway that's all stuff happening behind the scenes nothing really about the vlog here but that's sort of the errands we were running around got that done that felt good and uh, felt good to be at home definitely did didn't feel so good to leave I'm back on the road again so we're on our way to Oak Grove Minnesota to continue with this load that's in the Minneapolis area it's about eight hour drive from here I'm gonna get as far as I can tonight I'm leaving Sunday night here so that I can deliver tomorrow on Monday once this freight's off my trailer we'll see where we go from there but at least I'll get a little bit of a hop skip and a hump head start on the next week right that's our plan I'm in I'm at the Flying J actually in St. Adolph. The only one parked out here by the pumps. Got a little story for you, a little story time. No one's behind me, so I'll chat with you guys for a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> so this guy, when I get here, I go around the pumps, right? And I was gonna go and park in front of the pumps because I'm only staying here for five minutes. And I was just gonna run in, you know, grab my coffee, run back out, hit the road, blah, 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 blah. We're on the way. There's a guy who was here, he's blocking like four out of the five pumps. I could get through just like one here, just barely squeak in. Like, And he was parked there and the, the cab of his truck was literally right up on the sidewalk by the door so that he could literally open up his driver door, get out and walk three steps to the door and open the door and be inside. Now you think trucker Josh, maybe he, you know, maybe he couldn't walk well. Maybe he was an emergency. Maybe he was an older guy. Maybe he was disabled in some way. I walked, no, no, he was a young guy, probably younger than me. Late 20s, 30. Didn't want to walk across the parking lot. Hey, Rich. Off we go. Got our coffee and our load in tow. We have a load of engineered lumber on the trailer. I believe they're uh, trusses. They're long, long pieces anyway. It's fancy lumber, I had to tarp it. Now that we spent an extra couple of minutes here after that other guy left, I, I know that he'll be out of my hair and down the highway and I don't have to worry about him. Put some distance between me and that guy. right now and uh, I like to keep 
it above half tank uh, from pretty much December all the way through till uh, end of March. So it's only a cent more per gallon and uh, we'll top it off again in St. Cloud tomorrow where it's a little bit cheaper if I have to. We'll grab us some juice here just to keep our tanks a little bit fuller and to reduce the risk of any condensation in my tanks when I shut it down overnight. Karen wants me to exit here. I don't want to exit here. I want to exit up ahead. The next exit. This is I-94. If I wouldn't be fueling, I'd be going over this bridge right over the highway here, going towards our left. But first we get fuel. I don't know how far I'm gonna make it. Like I might just go down to Rothsay, just down the road. Uh, I was hoping to make it down to Monticello or Sock Center. Maybe I'll grab another coffee here or something. Feeling a little bit tired, a little bit drained from the weekend at home. I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to. But... Well, I'm doing okay still. I've been driving about four hours, a little less. I think we can go a little bit further now. We can push ourselves a little bit further. If I was really that tired, I would just stay here in Fargo. If I'm able to, if I have the hours on my e-log, and if I have the energy, I should go a little bit further. So I have less to do tomorrow. Otherwise, I won't get as far tomorrow, right? Here's Flying J right off to our right. Loves is right across the street, but their fuel prices are higher for me. That's not good. Meters, turn left on 32nd Avenue South. This Flying J is like an ancient landmark, almost. This Flying J has been here since I was a little kid, since long before they merged with Pilot, long before they changed the logo design. one of those classic stops still coming here 2023 they've extended the pumps here quite a bit too when I was a kid they only had like six I think now they got what, eight or nine First day back at work after being at home for a while is always the toughest, mentally and physically. Tell the world I'm fueling here. All right, I'm gonna have to get my jacket on because apparently it's winter outside. So what a crazy couple of days, eh? I know the the vlog has been bouncing all over, and sometimes that. Uh, happens that way. I get a little bit overwhelmed sometimes. This regional stuff is go, 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 go. Like this, uh, you, you pick up a load, you deliver it. You pick up the next one, deliver it right away. Pick up the next one, deliver it right away. You go, 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 go. And then you get home and I'm like, oh, I'll have lots of time to catch up on vlogs. I'll have lots of time to, you know, relax. No, no, there's no time for that anymore. <laughs> I'm a dad now. And we just moved in. We're still trying to settle into our house and get everything all set up. I want to give you that tour yet of the house. Don't worry. We're just I'm trying to get everything set up. And it's taking a lot longer than I thought it might. But that's okay because we're doing it right. This is the last time we want to do this, right? So we're going to make it nice and homey and cozy. It's going to be great. Brit's doing a great job with all that. She's really good with the interior decorations and arranging everything. That's great. I'll be out here driving truck. And uh, that's my part. <laughs> so... Tomorrow will be a more regular vlog again because we're getting back into the swing of things here on the road. I'm going to do some catching up tomorrow as well. Hopefully I'll have some time during the day. We'll be delivering this load at around noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know if I'll get a reload tomorrow afternoon yet, but at least I'll get this load delivered because my other option was to leave tomorrow morning and then deliver 
the following morning, right? So at least we still got a head start on the week, even if I don't get reloaded tomorrow. That's fine. If I don't get reloaded tomorrow, I got some other work I can do on the internet and stuff. So I'll, I'll keep myself busy. But thanks for hanging out with me. Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, the, for your patience with me. Some of my vlogs are, have, are shorter sometimes, and sometimes they sort of bounce around. I'm doing the best I can here. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed, but don't worry. I'll be okay. Uh, everything everything will fall into place very soon and uh, we'll get into a regular rhythm of things again and this is just the way life is right now big changes just happened for us and uh yeah i gotta find out where all the dust settles right it's, uh everything's final now though like the, the, the old house is sold we have our proceeds from that uh, we've been paying off uh, we put that towards what we owed everything is uh Everything's done now with the move, with all the lawyers and everything else. Done. So that's good. Now I just need to settle in. I'm really tired. I'll speak to you guys a little bit in the morning yet. I've got to go set up my bed and go straight straight to sleep. I'm I'm so tired. I can't even explain it. So I, I wanted to get further tonight yet. But like I say, if you're tired, pull over and sleep. No load is worth your life. And I'm not going to get there any sooner if I go further down the road. I'll still only be delivering like between 12 and 1 anyway. So I pushed myself beyond my limits tonight. Why put everyone at risk by driving tired, right? I know my limit. I have the hours to drive yet. I have five hours left on my clock yet, but I don't have five hours left of energy in this. So we pull it over and uh, call it a night. Thanks everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Same place as I fell asleep. This is where I woke up. It's great. Oh, the sound of the highway right past me too all night. Oh, had a great sleep. Okay, so this is where we ended up. I'll just quickly wrap this up because this vlog has been all over the place. Thanks for uh, putting up with me. Got a lot going on. I've got my winter front on the truck now. It's starting to get cold. So close these flaps too when it gets really cold or I can open up these flaps if it's not as cold. That just helps keep the engine a little bit more protected from all the cold elements during the winter and also keep the heat going in my cab just a little bit better. Once it gets really cold you really need one of those. It helps a lot. There we are. That winter front is an ominous sign though. That is a sign that uh, the winter season is here. I bought new hub covers for the uh, center of the steers yesterday as well, or well, today in this vlog. I'll put those on as soon as I have time. So I'll catch you again tomorrow. We're gonna start right here, go and deliver in Oak Grove, Minnesota near Minneapolis. And we'll see where uh, life takes us from there, all right? I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that vlog. That one won't be so over the place. All over the place. It won't be over. That one won't be so all over the place. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to wake up here. I haven't had my coffee yet. Give me a break.